There are a ton of good people out there that are hurting right now, and uh, we got to get things moving. And uh, hopefully this new administration will do that. Now that you have officially conceded, are yes. you guys planning on moving forward with the injunction at all? Uh, no, we'll let that go. Um, I don't think it was, uh, given where the results came out, um, plus 10,000, it's not enough to, to really influence anything. So we'll, we'll let that go. Um, Ned's won this thing fair and square, uh, so we'll we'll move forward. So whether or not you know you decide to move forward, running for governor or anything yeah. else like this again, I know yeah. you need some sleep. <laughs> um, you know, we I I also heard you mention just about what it was like to to go through this process, having so many people try and vote at the last minute. Yeah. You know, which really changes the yeah. outcome. So again, whether or not you're going to go through this again, yeah. what do you have to say to to voters or or people that should register a little I, bit yeah, more? Yeah, I think it should be more organized. I don't think it's helpful that you get lines out the door at 7.59. Um, somehow we need to facilitate it so that people aren't scrambling to get their vote in. Everybody who wants to vote should get the chance to vote. It just doesn't seem like it's all that organized right now. And, you know, Ned and his team should think about how to streamline that. How'd your camp deal with it when you were hearing about busloads of people coming in last second to get registered? Yeah, like I said earlier, it didn't influence the outcome. Again, I think we should, you know, figure out what's right and what's not right. Um, it, it luckily, fortunately for everybody involved, it didn't influence the ultimate outcome. And for things to get wet, I thought that was surprising. <laughs> Did you think that was I, I'm surprising? surprised too, because the, the, you know we had a folder around ours, and you know unless you're like plastering it to your your shirt, but uh, you know it is what it is, and uh, it, it, in a way, it's good the margin was big enough so that we don't have to worry about it. Anything you want to say to those that have supported you? Yeah, I mean I, I couldn't be prouder of, of the effort of my family. Uh, put in the people across the state, the Republican Party, the Independent Party, um, the Democrats that voted for me. We had over 500,000 votes. That's that's quite an honor. Um, I'm humbled by that. And, um, you know, we're going to do what we can going forward to help the state. What do you think that says about the future of the state? Uh, I'm hoping they do the right thing. Uh, again, um, I've, I've run on a platform of lower taxes and get the economy moving. I hope they've listened. Um, I hope the legislators listen to the people because I've talked to a ton of people out there um, that want a fundamental change in economic policy. We're losing 80 people a day from the state, and we really need to do something to stop it. Um, so anything I can do to help Ned or anybody else with that, I'd be happy to do it. Even though you've conceded, are you still interested to find out, you know, what happened from, <laughs> from New Haven, from Hartford? You It'd know, be interesting to see, but, you know, it's, it's, I don't know that it's over. I don't know if they reported their results yet. I don't even know if New Haven's in. Uh, but there was enough of a gap, I felt uh, it was the right thing to do to call Ned and, and concede so he can get on with his transition. And your family's doing okay so they're far? They're great. They're great. <laughs> they're my rock. We're proud of him. Yeah. yeah how are you really guys feeling this morning? It was a long night. Yeah. <laughs> but. It's been great for them. It's been a life experience. You know, they've gotten exposed to, you know, uh, democracy at work. And uh, it's been great. It's been a great experience. So thank you guys. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey. Rocky Hill is where the headquarters were. You know, uh, everybody from the campaign has been here. I'm actually joined right now with Bob Stefanowski. Bob. Good morning. Good morning to you. Uh, I, uh, just go through very quickly. You know, what sure. has been the morning been like following such a <laughs> long, long night? Uh, you know, the light the night was up and down, obviously. Uh, we're disappointed with the outcome, but uh, I had a good discussion with Ned. Um, I offered to help in any way that I can't, obviously be up to him, but, uh, you know, we'll move forward. Uh, hopefully I got the discussion uh, during the campaign more focused on taxes and the economy. Um, I think the people felt very strongly about that. Um, I thought the turnout was great. Uh, we got more votes than any Republican in the history of the state, but uh, the Democrats did a better job of getting the vote out. Yeah, but a lot of people at the same time, by that same token, they did want to come out and vote. Unfortunately, yeah. a lot of people tried to register at the last moment. Yeah. You know, you were earlier mentioning before just how that played a role, as well as, you know, those those uh, ballots that were ended up yeah. getting wet. You know, <laughs> yeah. with those factors in there, you know, how does that, I guess, you know, how do you wake up to that, all that information? Yeah, I think it needs to be better organized. Hopefully, Ned will work on that. I mean, anybody that wants to cast a vote should have the opportunity. Um, but having long lines at 7:59 trying to get people in is not ideal. So I think we need to look at streamlining that process because it, it did create some confusion towards the end. Sure. The next political move for you is. <laughs> 
about 48 hours of sleep, uh, <laughs> and then uh, we'll reassess from there. But it, it's been a great experience. Um, I thank the people of Connecticut for voting for me, those that did. Um, I'm wishing the state the best, and anything I can do to, to drive that forward, I'd be happy to do. Well, we appreciate that. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you and hey, go get some sleep. You okay. find it, definitely. Okay. And he and his family, they're going to be off in a couple of moments just to do the rest of their time.